Hello, I'm Dave Eim. I'm the inventor of Rhinestone Genie, and we're here at Quilt Week. We're gonna show you how to bling anything in minutes. Here's an example. Okay, in order to make a little gift bag like this, we're gonna start with uh, what we call magnetic templates. So these are magnets, and we just line them up on a steel tray. And we're gonna do a little, say, dog treat bag here for our dog named Max. We're gonna line up our letters here. And the magnets hold in place so they won't move. The next step is to pile on some rhinestones. So we're gonna take a big pile of rhinestones here. And as you see, as we swirl them around here in a little circling motion, they fall in the hole, shiny side up. So we're gonna make two passes at this. The first pass, we're gonna be rather aggressive. Lots of rhinestones quick circular motions, and within seconds, we'll have almost every hole filled in. Next step is to take a second pass. We take another pile of rhinestones. This time we're gonna gently brush the rhinestones across the surface. Nice and easy, nice and gentle, and we're gonna fill in every hole we missed the first time. Clear off any excess. Make sure we got a good space left over. And now we're gonna take what's called our hot fix tape. We're gonna separate the tape from the backer. Set that aside. And we're gonna tack down one edge of the tape. Pull it tight and then just lay it down. We're gonna brush lightly to tack the rhinestones in place so they don't move. And then we're gonna go back and press firm. Now we're going to pull the tape from the far corner, pull it back towards ourselves very slowly. I think I've got an extra rhinestone in there. Let's peel that back. And you'll see we just created a custom rhinestone transfer. Now we're going to take that and we're going to line that up onto our little bag. Make sure all the rhinestones are laying flat. We do have a little extra rhinestone in there. So we're gonna take that off with a pair of tweezers. Make sure all the rhinestones are laying flat and looking good. Now when we iron this on, I like to iron on a hard flat surface. I'm gonna lay this down I'm going to lay a Teflon cloth cover sheet over top of it and then we're going to iron it down. So basically you heat it on there at wool setting for about 45 seconds. We want to make sure you're hitting the rhinestones at least once. So if your design is bigger than your iron is, you're going to want to move the iron over and cover each rhinestone at least once. Okay, now we got to move it over slightly so we cover the rest of the design. Heat that for another 45 seconds. Okay, we set the iron aside, take off our cover sheet, and then we're gonna wait about 10, 15 seconds, and then we're gonna peel off the film. So we gotta wait for it to cool, wait for the glue to set. Okay, now we just peel back nice and slow. There you have it. Your rhinestone stuck on. They're permanently applied. You can wash and dry this. They won't come off. It'll last longer than the fabric. Okay, so now this is permanently applied. You can wash and dry it. It'll last longer than the clothing is permanent. And you can also use this on, on scrapbooking, on the paper crafts, anything you can pretty much heat up with an iron. Now come visit us at rhinestonegenie.com and bling anything in minutes. And we welcome you to come visit us at the next quilt week.